Thank you. I think I don't have to disturb the pattern. It seems if one stands up, the one sits down. So I will, I will sit down and thank you, colleagues, for, for the opportunity. And um, I really appreciate uh, My name is Dr. Madube. I'm in the Faculty of Education, um, Curriculum and Studies in particular. So my research area is in education, religion, and politics. So I try to combine these three aspects because they speak to one another. And without problematizing, problematizing each, we will not get a, a democratic society that we all yearn of. Oh. So I, I research on particularly the Zimbabwean context and my um, center of argument that a better Zimbabwe is a better, it's, it's better for the Sadiq and better for Africa. And because of that, it requires a certain courage, a certain scholarship, which is framed in decoloniality to question the often taken for granted assumptions, which usually is, are held by politicians. And part of it is to say, if we scholars keep quiet at such a time as this, then no one can speak uh, on behalf of the marginalized, the, the disfranchised people in society. Therefore, that research is the research that tries to question and bring into perspectives that um, religious leaders, institutes, and organizations must come on part to be part and parcel of the, the democratic uh, society. And um, because of that, we know, of course, we, we have, um, uh, because we deal with um, religion and politics, we have also got a very um, a black lash from different people because whenever religion is used, the people tend not to question, people tend to be, to be actually loyal to, to religion. And therefore, our approach is to say religion is good, but it, is, um, it, it can easily be abused and uh, because it can easily be abused, the politicians rise uh, right on it to ensure that uh, we are always suppressed. And therefore, how can educational narratives break that and try to, to ensure that uh, a democratic society emerges? So my student and my postdoctoral fellow uh, research around the synergies of those three aspects in the post-colonial Africa, especially framed from the colonial theories with the intention of trying to produce a democratic society, a, a society where even religious leaders, uh, politicians um, are, are accountable for what they do in society as a way to better uh, produce a, a society that all will live in it. So in the past um, um, uh, three, four years, um, we, we have just written more than 100 articles and four books. Um, trying to make arguments that a better Africa is good for us all. So that even if we go to the West and they ask us, what are we doing about the African situation, about the violence, about the xenophobia, and all the aspects that are, are problematic in Africa, we can boldly say we are actually uh, busy writing, problematizing with the intention of uh, igniting a better society for, for us all. So that's the incense of my research, and thank you very much.